Hi everyone, let's take a look at the project that we just created using the resource editor uh, to build a sign up form. And let's take a look at the sign up form. This is our sign up form. And uh, instead of using the resource editor to uh, do the theme, I'm going to use CSS in my new CSS module. So I've already got the Java set up. This is my sign up form, just like we saw in the other project. I've got my UIID set up. But the project, because I've removed the theme, so there's no styles that I've set up. So it's just a black form because I've got my UIIDs in there, but I've got no styles for those UIIDs. And instead of using the resource editor, let's do some cascading style sheets. So I've got my CSS module installed, and I've got a style sheet here. Now all CSS, except for font face uh, directives, should go inside a media CN1 section of a CSS thing. This is what the compiler looks for uh, for Codename 1 because it's a little bit different. So let's, uh, let's go for a simple style. If we look at the sign-up form, our uh, first UIID is this, uh, well, this, the form itself. So the sign-up form. Let's uh, give that a background image. And let's make it extend from form first of all. So sign up form. CN1 derive. This is a special codename one directive to tell it to inherit from form. And let's try running. And voila, there it looks like a, a normal form again. We can actually see everything. But we don't want it to look like a normal form. We want it to have a background image. URL, and we've got the image that we extracted from Photoshop in the parent directory in assets. So let's take a look. at Here's my assets directory, and it's uh, profilephotobutton.png. Oh, that doesn't work. Sign up form bg.png. And by default, it's just going to tile. So let's, and there we have our background image. It's, uh, it may be hard to see, but it is there. And while we're at it, let's make the title area transparent. There we go. And uh, how about our sign-up fields? Sign-up field, we want border, MPX, solid. And padding, two millimeters. And we want, I've got also a sign-up label. We want the same settings there. Oh, and we also want the uh, background to be transparent. And the color of the text, what was the color we wanted? This was the color we got it straight from Photoshop. OK, so that should uh, help with that. But we also had uh, sign up center. White margin zero. And that should, uh, let's take a look at what this gives us. Okay, so that's getting close. Um, we've got a little bit of uh, margin between our fields still, so let's get rid of that. Sign up label, margin zero. And that should take care of that. What else do we need to do? I think the sign up button, background color, it was that special pink. So let's take that, margin 
zero, and I think we wanted padding two millimeters. And it's that basic. Okay, we're getting closer here. Uh, our borders are starting to look a little bit better. These fonts still need to be set up. Oh, the, uh, the button itself needs to be centered. Sign up button. Center. And the text color needs to be white. And we also need to import, we've got some images that we need that the uh, top button Let's import those images. A little trick to import images, you can import them as background images. I'll just do it here. Uh, photo, oh, let's profile. So, background image. And that is the profile photo button. And this will cause that image to be imported into the compiled resource file, CN1 image ID. And what this will do is it will give it a name that's consistent. Otherwise, the name might, will be uh, generated to uh, resolve conflicts. So profile, profile, photo, lesson.png. And this should make it available so that well, let's look at the uh, source code that I'm targeting here. So in my sign up form, the photo button, I've got this resource get image profile photo button PNG and that relies on an image with this name being part of the uh, resource file in question. So this is going to allow that to be imported. So let's compile this up and there's our button. So we're getting close. Uh, we still got the menu to resolve. We've got the fonts of the, uh, the text field, actually all, all of the fonts. And we've got our uh, little done action button up here. So let's, uh, let's deal with that first. I'm going to open up the regular theme to change the menu back to the top. So we saw this uh, when we were using the resource editor before. I need to change the constant for command behavior to title. And I'll close that up. So that'll get rid of the side menu. And let's import our font. So you'll remember our font was uh, that Google font. Let me see. I have, I've got the URL written down. Okay, here it is. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I'm going to pull in the one that I did earlier. So the only thing that doesn't go inside the media directive is a font face directive. And what this does is it'll actually download the font from any location. And this URL, of course, can be a local address uh, or it can be a full URL. If it's a full URL like this, it'll actually download it and put it in the default directory so that it can be used by your app. So in this case, I have found the font we needed in the Google fonts on GitHub and this is just going to download it directly. Now I can reference the font family using the name that I give it right here. So let's set the fonts. So the uh, title, so we're going to do title sign, sign up field sign up label or else we got sign up button Anything else? Title, command, back, command. These are all uh, things that need that font, and we'll give it that font. We could have uh, set it directly in each one, but well, I'll hit them all together just to get the font there. And let's compile. And what do you know? We've got our font, we've got done, we've got sign up. Uh, we're missing our back because we haven't uh, got the image. We're all, we also haven't pulled that image in yet. And we need to do the, uh, uh, the label hints. So if we look at the hints, I used a different UIID for those. Sign up field hint. 
Let's copy that. Font that. Well, we'll just add it to the list. Sign up field hint. And we want the color to be the same as for sign up field and sign up field label. And I think I want the size to be a little smaller. So we'll go font size small. And that. Okay. Looking good. So we have we need an image for the back arrow, we need an image for the get started, and those I can just import the exact same way to make them available. Uh, right arrow background image. And back. Let's just copy this. And a couple other uh, nice touches I want to do. The sign up button, when it's pressed, I want the background to be gray. How about that? And the title command, I want the, we actually, for consistency, need the color to be pink. Uh, where's the title command? Oh, I haven't defined a title command yet. Now yeah, we'll make it so that when it's pressed, it's white. And I think there it is. Looks pretty good. We press done, press started. This looks like the design that we wanted. So this is an example of uh, what you can do with uh, cascading style sheets. I find this to be much quicker than uh, using the resource editor myself. But the other good thing about this is this is all text. I can copy and paste this and uh, boom, you've got a theme, you can change one thing. I believe this should be this should make it much easier for people to develop themes and share them. This is just scratching the surface. Uh, CSS, I mean this particular theme I was trying to create didn't require a lot of CSS, a CSS uh, muscle work. Um, I could do rounded borders, uh, I could do gradients, I could do shadows, uh, all very easily just using uh, regular CSS directives. Uh, there will be more on the CSS module coming out soon. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.